Whenever the laws of any state are broken, a duly authorized organization swings into action. It may be called the state police, state troopers, militia, the rangers, or the highway patrol. These are the stories of the men whose training, skill, and courage have enforced and preserved our state laws. Most concerns of every officer of the highway patrol are constant surveillance and caution. A single second of carelessness can well mean failure in his duty and possibly the loss of his life. On June 10th of last year, highway patrol officer Ben Wilkie committed just such an act of carelessness. Oh great, all we need now is some country cop to shake us down. Well, why didn't you outrun him? It's no use. These boys have got units all through this valley. He'd radio ahead. He's on the radio now. Give me this license number. Hey, give me that other gun just in case. If he goes to frisk me, maybe he'll quit when he finds my shoulder holster. Let's see if I can't talk him out of this. Keep him away from that luggage. Going pretty fast with this highway, sir. Well, it, uh... Might have looked that way, but I can handle this car in just about any spot. Looks like you're out doing a pretty good job. I might just drop a note to your boss back to your headquarters and, uh... 1240, hmm? May I see your operator's license, sir? Look, you made your point. We're gonna go slower now. Everything I own is in that luggage. My wallet and license. Why make a federal case out of this? I packed everything last night. It's uh, all in an envelope. I'm afraid I'm gonna have to ask you to find it. Look, we're just passing through your state on our way to the coast on a vacation. Now, forget the whole thing and everybody will be happy, but you start pushing us around, making me go through that luggage. Well, I'm just liable to go back to your headquarters and start raising a few complaints. Now, that's not going to do you any good, is it, 1240? So, let's just forget the whole thing, see? Turn around, please. Put both hands on top of the car. What? Your purse, please. permit for carrying this? Yeah, I got a permit. I've had it for 10 years. What do you want me to do? Get in the car and drive back home and find it so you can see it? It's a pretty shabby way of treating people on their way to the coast to spend as much time at the beach as they can. Come with me, please. surface. All right, all right, get out of here, come on. Is he dead? Yeah, move over. How soon before you think they'll find him? Ten, maybe fifteen minutes, they'll check on him. Did you have to kill him? Are you kidding? That's the gun I killed the paymaster with. All I needed to get tied in on that job was for him to run a make on the gun. All they know about us now is our license number. We'll backtrack to Belleville and pick up a new set of plates. Headquarters to 1240. Headquarters to 1240. Come in, please, 1240. What's the trouble? 1240 failed to report after a routine stop. That's Wilkie. What's his 1020? Seven miles west of Belleville on Highway 70, a speeding car. What else you got? Black sedan, Indiana license, boy x-ray, 1012. Time, 1247. 25 minutes, that could be too late. What's the nearest unit? Only other unit in this area is 3328. Where is he now? His last report was in 1113. An injured animal 30 miles west of 1240 on Highway 70. We should have a clear on him in the next 10 minutes. That could be 10 minutes too late. Alert all units, we might need help. Come on, let's check it out.
your daughter, huh? Plan like that should have a pretty good sized parking lot. Yeah. Don't you think we'd been better off if we just kept going instead of coming back and losing all this time? No, we had 40 miles ahead of us with nothing. No cutoffs. They probably got a roadblock out there now just waiting. All right. But let's find another road and get out of here. Take it easy. One thing at a time. Now, the first thing I want to do is get those plates. Then I want to take a look at the map. Now, we're going to get out of this thing slow, step by step. Hello there. Would you like to see a menu? Well, thank you. We'll let you know when we're ready to order. Okay. Well, you're not going to just sit there, are you? Relax. I don't want to be the first one to hit the roadblock. No, we'll just spend some time here. Let me shake a few cars down first. When those cops don't pick us up in their roadblock, they're going to know we went to Belleville. That's just what I'm counting on. They'll figure we came back to Belleville to steal a car. I, mean, I kind of like the car we've got now. Looks like any other car on the road. All I need are plates. As soon as we order, I'm going to take a walk over to that plant. The parking lot's probably in the rear. Well, he's still breathing. 3240 to headquarters. Headquarters, bye. Wilkie's been shot. Send an ambulance seven miles west of Belleville on Highway 70. Has 3328 clear jet? 3328 standing by, 30 miles west of your 1020. Hold him there. Have him set up a roadblock. And send out an APB. Give a description of the car at 1240 stop and get a 28 and 29 on those plates. 10-4. 10-4. How about this? Shot right in the back. I've never known Wilkie to get careless before. Only takes once. Let's start checking. Made a U-turn. Right from there, right around. But why'd he head back? Probably afraid of a roadblock. There are four ways out of here. We could block them all, bottle him up. Unless he steals another car. Let's set the roadblocks right now. Come on, let's move. looking for us. Did you change the license plates? Not yet, not till we get out of town. But, Buck, those plates are hot. You better change them now, right away. Where? In back of this cafe? That's asking for trouble. If somebody sees me changing those plates, they get suspicious and call the cops. Now my way's better. Well, how do you expect to get out of town with the highway patrol around? Just look up and down the road, make sure it's clear, then breeze. You just show me a town I can't get out of. I know the cops moves better than they do. By now, they've got a block on all the four roads out of this burg. We could stay here till it gets dark and they relax about the time when all the cars get piled up. Great. What if they start going through the cars, the luggage? I could bluff them. We could probably slip through. But we've wasted enough time here. I've got a better idea. Let me see the map. What did I tell you? There's a cutoff about five miles south of here on 40. Cuts through the hills, comes back out onto 70, the other side of where we bumped the cop. Clear sailing all the way. You do know what you're doing, don't you? Always have. Dan 
Glenn Matthews, realizing that his chances of keeping the suspect bottled up were weakening as the minutes went by, arrived at the Belleville Hospital, hoping to get some additional fact or scrap of information from the now conscious Officer Wilkie. Hi, Wilkie. Oh. Hi, Ben. They tell us you're doing all right. Feel well enough to do a little talking? Sure. Guess I fumbled the ball out there. You sure did. What happened, Ben? Uh, first, it looked like nothing more than a speeding car. Man and woman. Going about 75 miles an hour. I pulled them over. The guy refused to show me his operator's license. Did he give you a reason? Nothing except he was mad about being held up on his vacation. Said his license was packed. Didn't want to go through his luggage. Pretty flimsy excuse. Right. So I insisted. Threatened to have me turned in. Didn't make sense. He's acting kind of suspicious, so I thought I'd better frisk him. I took a gun from his shoulder holster. I suppose the permit for the gun was a phony, too. I don't know. I took him back to the patrol car to check on it. I uh, forgot to finish the frisk. I reached for the mic and turned my back for a second. That was it. Had another gun. I hadn't handcuffed him. After five years, I ought to know every guy's a possible. Well, I forgot it for a moment. As you can see. Yeah, I know. This guy's pretty smart. He knows we got his license. He doubled back, Ben. We think to steal another car. So me call in, huh? This guy's doing a lot of planning. You know something? He knows our M.O. He won't steal another car. Doesn't have to take the risk. He's got the best one he could have right now. The black sedan? That's right. Must be 50 million of them. No different than half the cars that hit a roadblock. He'll keep it. Then go for plates. How about him, Ben, and the girl? Can you describe them? Uh, just as hard to single out as the car. Man was normal height. Dark hair. The girl was just another blonde. Watch him. He's quick with a gun. Good luck. When you catch him, I'm in real hot water. He took my badge number. He's gonna turn in a complaint on me. You want a bet? Twenty-one fifty to headquarters. Headquarters, bye. Relay this information to the four roadblock units. He's a male, average height, dark hair. Got a companion with him, female, blonde. They're traveling in a black sedan. They have stolen local plates. Have you got a 28 to 29 on what 1240 called in about yet? Negative. 10-4. Ten 10-4. Four. Ten four. You know, when a suspect steals a car, he wants an isolated unit, one he can observe, one that won't be missed too soon. Stealing plates is different. Then he wants a car in a group. Like a large parking lot, a market, or maybe even that packing plant across town. Let's check them all out. Headquarters to 2150. 2150 by. No 28 and 29 on those plates yet, but here's a teletype from the Indiana State Police. A 211, paymaster kill, $62,000. 10-4. 10-4. Like Wilkie said, every single person we stop could be a killer. Well, my wife and I are interested in some property right here. Now, could you tell me if this dirt road goes through to that property? Oh, sure. That's the old Dunstan construction route. It's a shortcut. Goes out on Highway 40, a little way south of here, and comes back out on 70, right here, way west of Belleville. It should go right by the property. Good. There's only one thing wrong with it. What's that? Well, you see, in about four miles, you come to the Angahealy River. Mr. Dunstan built a bridge across it, only he didn't build it very well. 
It was washed out last winter. Great. You mean we can't get through? Not if you use the cutoff. But if you leave the highway this side of the cutoff, about here, it's a little dirt road, first one you come to, goes up through the wash to get back to the Dunstan cutoff, this side of the Angahaley. That's the only way you can do it, though. Well, it's a good thing we ran into you. You know, you two had me worried for a minute. What do you mean? Well, when you pointed out Highway 40, I thought you planned on taking it south. What's wrong with 40? Nothing, except I've got a customer who just came in on 40. He was telling me there's a roadblock set up about 20 miles out of town. He says the cars are backed up for at least a mile. I'll be right back with your check. I'm gonna get out of town and change those plates. Where are you going to do it? We'll wait till we get on the dirt road. It's gone too. Check your registration. It's on the steering column. License NXP 430. 2150 to headquarters. Headquarters by. Relay this license number to the four roadblock units. Nora X Ray Paul 430. 10 4? 10 4. The 28 and 29 just came in on the Indiana license plates. They're registered to Buck Lester. The rundown lists him as ex convict. Two priors, armed, dangerous. Ten four. Ten four. Let's take a look at this map. If he'd have made a run for it, he'd have run into our roadblocks. I think he's playing it cool. Well, he won't take this one east, or this one, because that'd take him back home. And he sure won't take 70 west, because that'd take him past the spot where he shot Wilkie. That leaves us 40 south. We've got that block, too. He probably knows it. I guess he's figuring a way around the roadblocks. But how? Well, there is one way, right in here. The Dunstan Construction Road. Yeah, but that dead end's in about four miles where the bridge is out. We know that. He doesn't. Let's get around behind him and cut him off. That girl was right. She was. She did us a favor, too. If we had taken that Dunstan turnoff, they could have bottled us up easy. Give me the plates. See that car back there? It's a black one. Yeah, but that isn't the Dunstan Road. That road isn't even on the map. You know where it goes? Sure, it goes up the wash. Hits the Dunstan Road on the other side of the bridge. It's the only way through. You don't suppose he could have found out about that bridge being out, do you? I don't know. Let's check it, huh? Buck. Went south on 40. They're turning around. I'm just snoopers. Probably saw the car parked down here. Get inside. Tell them you've been sleeping. But get rid of them. I'll be over there in the bushes. But what if they see we haven't changed the front plate yet? Then look out. Because if they come near this front license plate, I'm going to come out shooting.
Chased that mere license plate. Stolen from one of the cars in the parking lot. Yeah, but there's only a woman in that car. The guy's got to be around here someplace. He's probably got it zeroed in. I'm going to ask a couple of questions. Then we're going to get out of here. Excuse me. Highway patrol. Oh, you scared me. Something wrong? Saw your car. Is everything all right? Yes, I just got a little tired driving, so I pulled off the highway to take a nap. <laughs> but I'm rested now. You're sure you can stay awake? Huh? Oh, sure. Well, you did the right thing. Ever see such a bunch of square cops in all your life? Not lately. I'll change the plate and we'll get out of here. From the way she looked when I started for the front of that car, he hasn't changed the plate yet. He was out there in the bushes ready to do some shooting, huh? Let's find out how he is in the open. Well, they're gone. They headed back to Belleville. I guess I shouldn't have wasted so much time trying to outsmart them. They're not much competition. Okay, let's get out of here. Call an ambulance. Get out of the car, please. Jan, mind you. What'd you find? Found this in her purse. Oh, that's a dandy. That's just small enough to fit in the pocket, isn't it? Well, take a look at this. Big spenders, aren't you? Thought you said you had everything figured out. Remember that complaint you made, or you were going to make, against one of our officers? Number was 1240. The one you thought you killed? Well, he's alive. And now you got a real complaint. Here. You know, you're going to spend about 50 years in a pen? Maybe on visiting days, he might come up to see you. All right, let's go. Move. Keep an eye on him. See Highway Patrol again next week. Until then, remember, reckless driving doesn't determine who's right, only who's left. This is Roderick Crawford saying, see you next week.